So I measured the gap uh, for 24 millimeters and I searched for material that I can use and I found a plastic mug that I have uh, cut with uh, a scissor to pieces and I can use this this plastic pieces to put a gap between the magnets like this and I can't do it, do it with one hand only but you can imagine that there is the magnet and then the plastic, the magnet, the plastic. Here on this side there's no plastic yet. On this side I'm already uh, done with putting plastic into it. Well, we will see how it, how it will work out. I'm ready with the rotor. These little plastic pieces were a bit too thick. I had to remove four pieces, so I decided I would remove them from four sides. One here, one there, one there, and one there. And now the rotor is ready. This is the wheel of the starter where the coils will go on to. And um, I have this is just a round shape with a hole, and I have marked where the coils need to go, and I have marked uh, where how far I need to. Um, put the coils with the red circle. How have I done this red circle in the markings? I will show you now. Uh, this is just a piece of metal with which I have bent to uh, my, my uh, specific length. Then I went to the rotor, put it on the axis and ju just as, as deep as possible, so there, and John just went round and round with a pen fixed to it, so I had had a nice, nice round shape, and the positions for the um, coils, um, I put that thing onto here, onto that, put it down, and where the magnets are, there the coils have to be, of course. So I marked just where the coils are, I marked uh, uh, where the magnets are, there will be the coils. Let me, let me tell you how you can easily and quickly do a guide for your uh, milling machine, uh, for your milling cutter. You take a piece of wood, and then another piece of material, this can be wood or it can be uh, iron or whatever, it, it only matters that it's, it's straight in a line. And you fix the second one to the first one in a distance that is about um, the drill to the line where it fits, where it holds. And then you just start the uh, milling cutter and you cut one time a straight line. And then you have a wonderful guide which then you can use to cut everything else that you want. So now let me tell, uh, show you how I'm cutting this thing here. I'm putting the guide onto the thing that has to be cut. And by the way I'm not putting it through the center because the uh, wood is the center, so I'm putting it near the center, but not in the center. Can you see that? Or? Mm, that's maybe better. So, this is here. Then, I hold it. So, now it's stable, 
And then, here we go. We are almost done, almost because it doesn't fit. It is too big because um, I don't have a driller that is big enough. So I have to cut a second time. Like this. It should be good. Yes, it fits in quite tight, but good. Very good. And stable too. Now I have to do it all around the starter. That's what the stator looks like now. And here the coils will be placed like this.